This is tutorial number 18, and it covers how to trim or extend a sketch within CATIA V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 18, which is located on the DVD. Once you have it loaded, let's go into the sketch. So let's double click on the sketch, and now we're into it. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go through the trim extend features within CATIA V5. So these are the trim features that you're able to choose from. So you're able to kind of just delete a entire uh, section or break it. It's up to you. Uh, the tool I'm going to kind of uh, specifically focus on in this tutorial is the trim. So what I've done here is I've kind of set up some lines. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim and extend these lines to make a square. So to start off, let's click on the trim. And to use the trim, what you have to do is click on a line, and then you have to move, and it's going to move one of the points up and down until it touches. So I'll show you. Let's trim this line and make it touch that line there. So let's click this line, and you can see that we now are able to move it up or down. So we want it to go to that point there. To make it go just at that one point there, we're going to highlight this line here. So now it's in line with it click and now it's in line. So now let's keep going around and finish the square. So we'll make this, make it in line with that, make this one in line with this one, and let's make this one in line with that one there, and now we've made our square. So being able to trim uh, different edges and whatnot is a very powerful tool in here. So you're able to kind of piece together sketches and then kind of trim and extend everything until they complete uh, a whole profile. So I'm going to show you another one. So I'm going to make a few lines and we're going to make a triangle. And what we're going to do in this one is we're going to trim them. In the last one we kind of extended everything. This one we're going to trim the edges. So let's click trim and what you have to do is you have to kind of click on the side that you want to keep. So in this case, we want to delete this side, and we want to keep this side. So let's click right here, and bring it up to that line. Now, as you can see, it's kind of deleting that other line there, so you're going to have to kind of move it around until you get the result you want. So we want both of those at the top to be gone, so bring it to the side there, and now we've got both. Now let's do the same to the bottom, and let's keep this side here. And we'll trim this one here too. And now we've got our triangle. Now let's take the circle and let's put it on the top of the triangle here. And let's just pull it out just a bit. Now let's try to trim some of these edges so that we have just a single profile. So let's click trim. We want to keep this side. So we'll pull it up to there, and we'll do the same to this here. We'll bring it around until it touches there, and now we've trimmed those sides. Now this is a great tool as you're able just to, like I did, piece those together and make the profile. If I wanted to do this independently, I would have to do like a three-point arc, uh, slowly build all these together with uh, using the trim, you're able to throw all the objects in there and then start trimming away the excess. So the trim tool is a very, very powerful tool. The more you play around with it, the more you'll, uh, you'll know. It, it's, you just have to use it to learn and to know when to use it. So it's a great tool and it'll help you uh, put uh, sketches together quicker, easier, and get the results that you want. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the trim extend sketch feature within CATIA V5.